welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather, and today I'm gonna to talk about seven trends that you should ditch in 2020, in fall of 2020. I can't believe fall is almost upon us. Who else is excited for fall clothes? I know I am. If you would subscribe to my channel, I would truly appreciate it if you haven't already. I do publish two new videos every single week. So without further ado, let's get started on the seven fashion trends that you should ditch in 2020. And remember, these are only suggestions. They're certainly not rules. There are no rules in fashion. Fashion should be fun. Fashion should be fabulous. So just kind of take what you like and leave the rest. Okay, the trend number one that should be out in 2020 are matchy matchy like necklace and earrings. Like, you know how you used to see that, like a necklace would match the earrings, like a pearl, you know, pearl earrings, pearl necklace. So that is out to do not match your necklace with your earrings. What is in for 2020, especially for fall, it is very huge, is the big, just one or maybe even two, a gold chunky chain necklace. So there's a couple that I'm gonna recommend. Number one is the Jennifer Zuner one that I wear a ton. This one isn't as chunky as what we're seeing in fall of 2020. So if you want something that's a little bit more subdued, a little bit more understated, but still beautiful, still gorgeous, I highly recommend the Jennifer Zuner chain necklace. I wear it a lot. I wear it by itself, but I also wear it layered with other necklaces. So highly recommend this necklace. I think I've had it for probably a year and a half. I wear it a ton. I swear I've worn it over a hundred times. You've probably seen it on my channel if you've watched any of my videos before because I truly wear it all the time, which is amazing because I have gotten my cost per wear out of it. Now it is gold plated, so it runs around 200 and some odd dollars. I did find a budget friendly version of a gold chunky chain necklace on the Nordstrom website that's fully stocked. It's like $54. I absolutely love it. It is a bit more chunkier than the Jennifer Zuner one. So I would recommend just wearing this gold chain necklace by itself, wear it sort of over a black t-shirt or a black tank top as I've done here. Now this gold chain necklace is by a different brand that I'm wearing in this video and I will link it down below in my description box as well. So those are the three chain necklaces that I recommend. I say if you only add one necklace to your um, jewelry collection this fall, let it be a chunky gold chain necklace. Everything that I'm talking about will be linked down below in my description box, just so you know, as well as the sizing information. And if anything is on the expensive side, I will always link a budget-friendly version as well, because I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. All right, number two that is out are like frumpy cardigans, like, like, just, you know, cardigans that aren't very flattering or cardigans worn with clothes that are baggy so it makes them not very flattering. But what is in for fall 2020 are cardigan sets. I love cardigan sets. I've been looking for a cardigan set for a really long time and I could never really find one that I truly loved until I found this one on Free People. I have ordered it. I ordered the light blue version. It isn't here yet. So unfortunately, I won't be able to do, you know, style it for you guys. But if I were to style it, I'd probably just wear the light blue cardigan set with these black Citizen of Humanity flare jeans. That's what I'm gonna get to in just a moment. This cardigan set, I love it because it has the shell. It's basically a matching shell and a matching cardigan. I love light blue. I think it's an unexpected color to wear in the fall and winter, which is why I chose the light blue as opposed to the gray. But I also really love the gray. It comes in a beautiful dark charcoal gray color. So I think you honestly can't go wrong with either color. I actually debated about ordering both, but I don't think I need both. So I went with the light blue because again, it was a bit more unexpected. And I love wearing blue. I think it brings up my blue eyes. So I try to wear a little bit of color here and there when I can, because as you know, if you know me and you've watched my videos and seen my blog posts, you know that I'm a neutral girl. I wear black a lot. I wear neutral colors a lot. So anytime I can throw in a color, I do that. So definitely cardigan sets in for fall 2020. Okay, the third trend that you should ditch in 2020 is the pistachio green color. That was such a big color for fall of 2019. It was seen everywhere on the runways, on celebrities, on mega influencers. But now the in color, the it color for 2020 fall is like this beautiful rust brown color. It's sort of like a cinnamon rust color. I absolutely love this color. I think it is very flattering on all skin types, 
on all skin tones, on all hair colors. You know, so it's just a universally flattering color. It's beautiful. I think it screams fall and winter. I personally love wearing rust in the fall and winter. And I have three looks to go along with this fashion trend that I'm loving for 2020. Number one is this gorgeous cashmere rust colored cardigan. It is long, it is soft, it is sleek, it is a head turner. I love it. It's just like cozy and, and chic, but it's also incredibly stylish. It comes in multiple colors. But if you wanna be very on trend for 2020, I would recommend adding this beautiful rust color cardigan to your closet. I promise you will wear it a ton. I know I do. And I styled this look with these awesome Spanx leggings. Actually, they're not Spanx, they're by Commando, but they're faux leather leggings. They're high-waisted, they're phenomenal. They're so good that I just did a video styling them eight different ways. So if you wanna check that out, I will link it down below in my description box. But these leggings are under $100. And then I just did some amazing knee-high boots by Shoots. These are croc embossed, so they look way more expensive than they really are. I had these boots last fall and winter. I wore them a ton, and I definitely know I'll be wearing them a ton this fall and winter. Okay, the next rust color item I wanna talk about is this gorgeous zebra cardigan. You probably saw it in my last video, but I wanted to feature it again because it's so fabulous. I love this gorgeous rust color, the zebra print, is amazing. I think anything animal print is just a timeless print that's never going to go out of style. This cardigan is only $69, which is a big reason why I wanted to feature it again, because I think it deserved some more attention because it's such an expensive looking piece, but actually it's only $69. So what a great deal. I know I'll be definitely wearing this animal print cardigan all fall and winter long, and I bet you will be too. Okay, the third rust colored outfit I want to talk about is this gorgeous midi skirt. This is again the beautiful on trend rust color. It's from Abercrombie and Fitch. I featured it a long time ago in a video in the summer, but I love it so much because it's comfortable. It's incredibly chic because it's a midi length, which means it's also very slimming. Um, again, I love the color. It has a matching tank with it. Now the tank is almost sold out. So what I would pair with this exact look instead of the rust color tank is just a simple black bodysuit. You could even do this really cool black bodysuit I just got from Abercrombie and Fitch. It's like $39. It's really cool, tastefully sexy. So you could do that bodysuit. And then I just did a black leather jacket and some frame lace up heels. So this would be a look perfect for a date night or a girls night out. If you wanted to make this a bit more casual, you could just do a simple black t-shirt and some sneakers, but you still have on the rust colored skirt. So you're still looking very on trend for fall 2020, but you're also very comfortable. So highly recommend this skirt. It's, I think it's like around $50. So what a great deal. What a steal. It looks way more expensive than that in person, I promise. All right. The fourth trend that you need to ditch in 2020 is bright colored leather. So that's something we saw a ton last fall and winter where all these bright colors like pink and yellow and green and you know just like bright colored leather there's a couple reasons i don't love that number one it's sort of outdated and out of style but number two i think anything that's like a bright color especially if it's leather it just doesn't look very expensive it doesn't look very luxe so what is in for 2020 as opposed to the bright colored leather is more neutral colored leather, specifically brown leather, number one, or black leather. So let's focus on the brown leather. I think that's definitely, again, brown is sort of a, in the rust family, or I guess I could say the rust color is sort of in the brown family. So that is a really big color again for fall as well, especially in the category of leather. So anything that you see that's brown in leather, doesn't have to be real leather, it can be faux leather, I would snatch it up. And the look I wanna feature with this trend is this amazing beige blank NYC faux leather jacket. It's actually what I'm wearing right now because it's a neutral color and it is faux leather. It is very on trend for fall 2020. I love that it's a bit cropped on five foot four. So as you can see, it hits me right at the waistline or a little bit below. I thought it looked fantastic with these amazing flares. But before I get to the flares, I just wanna mention this jacket. It's faux leather, so it's a great price. I think it's around under $100, $98, maybe like 118. But it's fabulous. It looks way more expensive than that in person. I love blank NYC faux leather jackets. And they also make real leather jackets. But honestly, 
any jacket that Blank NYC makes, it's going to be high quality, but it's also going to be very affordable, which is why I highly recommend any jacket designed by Blank NYC because they truly make the best affordable moto jackets. And I can't tell you how much I recommend this cream moto jacket for fall and winter, but honestly, you could wear it in the spring and summer too, because just pair it with whites and lighter and more pastel colors in the spring and summer, and then come fall and winter, pair it with blacks like I did with this outfit. Then I just did this awesome Abercrombie and Fitch bodysuit. I think it's tastefully sexy. It's like $39. It would be really cool to wear alone on a date night or girls night out. But if you wanted to cover up a little bit more of your skin, you could certainly top it with a jacket like I have here. And then can we talk about how incredibly amazing these Citizen of Humanity flares are? Like they make your legs look a mile long. They make your legs look slimmer. They're going to make you look, you know, so much taller. Like these are just insane jeans. I absolutely love them. You know, the denim trend is sort of heading away from the high, the low waisted, like super, super skinny jeans. And it's going more towards baggier jeans, more towards like the straight leg and definitely also the flare in 2020. So these are very on trend for 2020. I love them specifically because they're edgy because they are a faded black wash. And again, if you've listened to my videos or, or read my blog ever before in your life, you will know that faded black denim is my personal favorite color of denim to wear because it's edgy. It's also very slimming and it also just literally matches everything. So love these jeans, they're high waisted. Again, because they have the flare and the slit up the ankle, they're incredibly slimming, very just like fashion forward. I absolutely love these jeans. I can't tell you, and you know, enough about how much I love them, and I think you ladies will love them too. They're also very comfortable because they do have some stretch in them. So I, I would recommend sizing down one size in these jeans. Okay, the second look I want to talk about that really, you know, <clears throat> showcases the brown leather trend in 2020 is this gorgeous croc embossed real leather jacket by Allison Olivia. This jacket is stunning. I love it the moment I laid my eyes on it. It is a head turner. It is a statement maker. It is a jacket that will never go out of style. You will have this jacket in your closet for many years to come, I promise. Wear it with denim like I have here, but you could also pair it. There's actually a croc embossed leather skirt on the Alice and Olivia website, which I love. I think it's a beautiful look. You could wear together if you have somewhere special to go this fall or winter. But if not, you know, you could just do the jacket with some with some jeans and you're going to look incredibly polished, incredibly sophisticated, and very on trend. I also paired this jacket with this really cute strapless satin under $50 top. This top is from Nordstrom. I loved it because it was such a great price and I think it looks more expensive than it really is. And you really can't go wrong with a strapless top because you can wear it alone on a girl's night out, which is what I wore the other night um, out with some girlfriends. It was so fun. I just wore this exact look, but without the jacket. I got so many compliments on it. And then these mousy jeans are phenomenal. I can't recommend them enough. And definitely they're very on trend for 2020 because they're a bit more baggy than you know the, your typical denim. And that again is where the denim trend is heading. All right, number five, the number five trend to ditch are off the shoulder tops. And instead it's a lot of the strong shoulder pads that we're seeing in fall and winter 2020 shoulder pads are back. They're back in style. And the really, you know, a, a t-shirt in particular that's in style is basically a muscle tank with shoulder pads. And this one is by uh, the Frankie shop. It's like $75. I think it might be sold out. So I will link a similar one that I found on the Abercrombie and Fitch website that literally looks identical. It's got the same cut. It's got, you know, slight shoulder pads. The shoulder pads probably aren't as big as they are in this top but I loved this top so much. Um, you're also seeing a, another trend again is the gold chain necklaces worn over these padded shoulder tank tops, muscle tanks. So that's kind of another, tr these two trends are sort of being combined, the shoulder pads with the gold chain necklace. And I'll have to say, I'm a big fan. I think it looks incredibly chic and incredibly stylish. And then I just paired it back with these awesome, Faux leather pants. These are by, um, actually, I don't know the designer. I can't remember, but they're available on the Bloomingdale's website. They're only $98. They come in black too. They look way more expensive than they really are. And this camel color, again, a shade of brown and it's leather. So it's also very on trend for fall 2020. Because these pants are a paperback waist, 
They're incredibly slimming. And because they're faux leather, they're incredibly affordable, coming in at only $98, like I said. So I think these are a no-brainer, a must-have. I had these last fall and winter. I wore them a ton, and I know I will definitely be wearing them a ton this fall and winter. And then I just did these Steve Madden mules. These are like a padded mule. They look very similar to the Bottega Vanita heels, but they're a fraction of the price. Okay, trend number six that you should ditch are low-rise jeans. Okay, no one is wearing low-rise denim anymore, and I'll have to say, thank goodness, because I absolutely hate low-rise denim. The reason is it makes your legs look short because it hits way below the belly button. So. A, a, a denim that is in for 2020 is definitely number one, it must be a high rise denim. And number two, it's either gonna be on the baggier side or have a straight leg or a flare. But like the super, super skinny jeans are also sort of, you know, taking a back seat. I'm never gonna say that skinny jeans are out of style, so don't go ditch your skinny jeans. But I'm just saying that the denim trend is heading more towards baggier, more towards straight leg, and even the flares are having a comeback as well. So the look I wanna feature with this trend is this awesome um, RTA bodysuit. It's a black bodysuit, it's beautiful. It kind of looks like leather. In fact, when I saw it on the website, I thought it was faux leather, but it's not. It's like a satin blend, but it's, it's very high quality. It's wrinkle-free. I just think it's beautiful, it's chic. It's never gonna go out of style. Like a black satin blouse will never go out of style. I loved it paired with these mousy jeans, which I did feature in a video a while back that I'll link down below. But these are my new favorite jeans. Like literally, I'm obsessed. If you've never worn mousy denim before, they're phenomenal. No other denim brand makes denim quite like mousy. They're made in Japan. The washes are very unique. The fits are insane. Like these are the only like baggy straight leg jeans that actually were flattering. The reason is they're not like too crazy baggy and, the, and they're very high waisted. I think they have either an 11 and a half or a 12 inch rise. So they're very flattering because they're high waisted. Since I'm only five foot four, I loved them cuffed so that they hit me right above the ankle. Now, if you're taller like the model, you can just leave them uncuffed. Either way, it's up to you. I love them both ways. And then I just did some, um, just some simple ankle strap black heels. These are the nudist heel by uh, Stuart Wiseman. I've had these shoes for probably five years. They're, they're a staple. I think every woman needs in her wardrobe is a good pair of ankle strap heels. I think they look good with denim, but they also look good with skirts and dresses. So highly recommend these mousy jeans. Again, where the denim trend is heading now. Another, you know, denim trend I talked about was flares, and I can't recommend these black faded Citizen of Humanity flares enough. Like, look how slimming they are. They're going to make you look miles taller, like I said earlier, and I just think they're amazing. So that was the look for that. Okay, number seven, the last trend that you should ditch in 2020 is over-the-knee boots and replace that with knee-high boots. So the look I want to talk about here are, are with these amazing Croc Embossed knee-high boots by Shoots. These are gorgeous. They kind of remind me of Paris, Texas boots, which will run you about eight, nine hundred dollars But these are by Shoots, and they're like, I don't know, 200 and something dollars. So they're a fraction of the price. They look way more expensive than that in person, I promise. And they're actually very comfortable because the heel height is around three or three and a half inches. So they're very wearable. I can wear these boots all day long and my feet never hurt. And the look I wanna talk about with these boots is this amazing faux leather camisole. So this is another way to wear leather or faux leather in 2020, which is another hot trend in 2020. This faux leather camisole is from Nordstrom and it's $49. So what a great deal. It's just an easy piece to throw on with jeans and put, you know, layer a jacket over it like I have here. I just layered a simple black blazer over this faux leather camisole. I think it's a very chic look. And then these are Citizen of Humanity Olivia jeans. They are a skinny jean, but because they're high waisted and they have a vintage inspired wash, I still think they're look they're going to look very on trend for 2020. And the next look I wanna talk about with these awesome shoots knee-high boots, I did mention it earlier in this video, but I kinda of wanna to touch on it again because I think it's just such a fabulous look. But these are the under $100 faux leather leggings that I can't recommend enough because they're incredibly slimming, incredibly flattering, and incredibly affordable. And then I did the rust-colored cardigan to pull in the trend I talked about earlier being the rust color being in for 2020. This is a cashmere cardigan. It's incredibly chic, incredibly cozy, incredibly soft. I absolutely love it. 
and then the awesome shoots croc embossed knee high boots. So as you can see, these knee high boots can be several uh, can be styled multiple ways, proving their versatility and wearability. So those were the seven trends you should ditch in 2020 and seven trends to replace them with. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite trend was and also what your, you know, what trend you're most excited about ditching in fall of 2020 because I always love hearing from you ladies. Thank you again so much for stopping by and for more style information, you can head over to soheather.com and on Instagram on Soheather blog. So I hope you'll have a beautiful day and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.